Greetings, I'm Jiu Zixian. I'm Wilson. We are the directors of Filmmaker Studio. We made a short film named Horror Film as our final year project. We choose to tell a story about a lazy man who lives in an apartment that has gotten so filthy and disgusting that it has manifested as a spirit to annoy the man. To a stage that people cannot even stand in front of his door when open. Finally, he was forced to confront the entity in a way that is quite unexpected. The commercial advertisement from Thailand they are so effective at grabbing viewers' attention with their narrative, dramatic and comedic elements serve as the primary inspiration for our tale. The story is so enticing to the point that you do not even realize you are watching an advertisement until they show the product at the end as the twist to the story. And we want to create that feeling of unexpected twist. Our early concept art stage went quite smoothly because we immediately wanted our protagonist real to be a same view man in his late 20s to early 30s. As mean that this is the age when most people lost motivation to do their daily tasks. We are lucky that the ghost design weren't something we waste too much time figuring out because we want the body to be long and narrow but only the head is a bit rounder and larger which resembles Prince Rupert drop. There are also two folding hands that are not tied to the body. The delivery man's development was the most difficult part because initially we want the character to be Leo's girlfriend. But it would be weird to let her deliver the item to him and have her running away if she had already known the condition of his apartment. So we need an outsider to hand the item to him. In the end, we chose an old delivery man which have an age contrast compared to Leo. And it is funny to think that the smell is so unimaginably nasty that even an old man could sprint away. To ensure that the workflow and art direction are seamless and consistent, it is crucial to collaborate with the assistant director, lead animator, and lead modeler. This requires assessing the strengths and weaknesses of each team member and distributing an appropriate amount of work to each of us. Making sure our team stay in touch throughout the whole production is one of the top priorities. Without close connections between teams, it is a lot harder to synchronize everyone's conditions in both work and mind. The balance of the star was actually the first hurdle we encountered during the early stages of our production. Initially, we had a plan to use a star that was 30% of realistic and 70% of starlight. But soon, we realized that it might not be suitable for our project. As a result, we switched to the more realistic environment texture. To get a satisfying outcome for all characters, I pay great attention to every texture, shadow on each figure and experiment with the subsurface scattering value. As gem proved to be quite problematic as well because it is finicky to get it working with the animation without some glitch here and there. I also solve various technical problems when it's not working the way it should and not only in my yard, but other software as well, Truth, Child and Arrow. It's a slow and grueling process. I handle most of the backend support throughout the production by standardizing our guidelines, controlling our workflow, and ensuring that each effort from our team is executed flawlessly. I have been quite strict in the quality of our outcomes, such as the storyboards, models, texturing, rendering, and among other things. The character rig is something that we decided to do without the help of custom plugin and we do not regret that decision even if it took a while to complete. I believe it is necessary to understand how to do so. Once we have finished rigging the first character, 
it turns out that rigging the second and third character are much quicker thanks to our understanding. The difficult part is to ensure the consistency of everything to fit the vision that we originally set for. I provide my knowledge in the field of cinematography by managing all the camera sets to ensure the best angles and to bring out our, the soap of our characters to the audience. Well, letting our audience down is not in my dictionary. During the sound design stage, we recorded voice line for our characters, which is essentially humming and groaning noises. As the for the Foley part, we recorded what we can in the studio, like objects dropping and cross sounds, since you can always find a perfect match online. And the challenging part about sound effects is that how to match the sounds with the action in the animation. I want to thank our lecturers for their guidance throughout the production of this project and our members for their superb cooperation and enormous amount of effort they put into this project to make it possible. Thank you.